workers across the country have been working around the clock, making sure every single vote is counted. And as you can imagine, many Americans are anxious to know what the outcome of the presidential race will be. So let's take a look at where we currently stand right now. It is still too close to call in Nevada, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. The Associated Press already called Arizona, giving it to Biden, but there are still thousands of votes to be counted there. Since only 85% of the votes are in, President Trump currently has a two-point lead in Pennsylvania, but the majority of outstanding ballots are in Democratic-friendly areas. And we are covering all the big national and local races this morning, so I'm glad you're with us here. I'm Eric Connors. And I'm Stella Esquivito. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. We do want to start with some major updates coming out of both Georgia and Nevada. News 8's Chris Grow joining us live with the latest developments there. Good morning to you, Chris. Good morning, Stella and Eric. And look, let's start with Nevada. We heard from election officials there just a short while ago, and a lot of people have been stressed and impatient with the amount of time it's taken for Nevada to do uh, their ballot counting. Well, probably some bad news for some of you that thought that it would all end today. In fact, we're being told it could take up until November 12th. In fact, they're also now dealing with allegations of voter fraud and potentially a lawsuit that could be filed very soon. We firmly believe that there are many voters in this group of mail-in people that are not proper voters. My response is that we are not aware of any improper ballots that are being processed. And so again, just to be clear there, there has been no evidence brought up, even at that meeting there from Trump team members there, announcing their uh, decision there to go ahead and file that lawsuit against the state of Nevada, ordering for the vote count to stop. They're alleging that there's mass voter fraud occurring, but again, didn't provide any hard proof at this media briefing that took place. Now, the reason why Nevada is taking so long, they want to stress accuracy over speed. In fact, today, they only plan to count 51,000 votes or so and then report back at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Nevada, just like California, mailed every registered voter a mail-in ballot so that people have the option to do mail-in or vote in person. They want to make sure that people don't vote twice. Now, let's go to Georgia, another razor-thin th razor state here in the race for the White House. Now, their voting implementation manager, Gabriel Sterling, he also spoke this morning and, again, stressed that they are more so concerned with accuracy instead of the speed of the count. So while employees are working as fast as they can, they want to make sure that the vote count is right, especially because Georgia is using paper ballots for the first time in 20 years. I know there's been questions about numbers that move around. I've heard 25,000, 50,000, 60,000. The reality is it's about 60,000 votes that are out right now. And we're working with the counties to make sure that they have properly put their stuff into their system and uploaded it. And this also coming out because a lot of his tweets have been flagged for misinformation, but we're sharing the statement here from the president, uh, Donald Trump, saying, quote, if you count the legal votes, I easily win the election. If you count the illegal and late votes, they can steal the election from us. Now, we want to be perfectly clear. What we're being told by election officials is that any votes that are being counted that were cast or potentially received by polling locations after November 3rd are generally going to be mail-in ballots that were postmarked uh, prior or on election day but received afterwards. Again, there has been no evidence across the nation so far that ballots have been mysteriously found or there have been a number of ballots, for instance, for former Vice President Joe Biden uh, being shipped in at the last second. Uh, however, uh, President Trump and his legal team ramping up these allegations of voter fraud uh, in what will likely be a number of court battles across the country.